Alright the ladies and gentlemen, John Sweepy here, and I'm sorry it's taken me a little while to get back to the Dynasty Warriors Trail, but nevertheless it is time for part 6 of One Shell's campaign, and today he goes to the battle at Ting. So here we are on this quite small, most weird and remarkable map, although it does have one key feature on it which we may or may not get to see this time around. Anyway, let's see what the steal is, because Sao Sao is apparently back. Having defeated Sun Quan at Heifei, Wan Shao's dream of unification seemed to be at hand. However, while Wan Shao was fighting against Sun Quan, there had been movement in the west. Cao Cao, thought to be lost to the world, had suddenly captured the Shu capital of Chengdu. Oh no, Cao Cao is back. With Shu under his control, Cao Cao has the advantage of terrain, as well as a large group of talented officers. He has again become Wan Shao's greatest enemy, and a significant obstacle on the road to unification. Okay, interesting how they would have Cao Cao be his enemy again, for the finale of the game. Cao Cao must be defeated and never allowed to rise again. Having made this decision, Wan Shao leads an invasion force into Hanzong. His target is the stronghold at J10, a key base and lifeline for Cao Cao's forces. Alright, so Cao Cao is back. As with the uh, war, he fought him at uh, Wandu and now he's going to fight him for until the end of the game, assuming we. So, for our team, we have us, with our two favorite sub officers. We have Shang He and Wan Tan. And for Cao Cao's forces, we have. Hmm. Cao Cao's forces, yet Simi Yi appears to be the commander. Interesting. So we have Simi Yi, the wave strategist. Sa Hun Dun with Don Lie in support. No, uh, no, it's opposite for Simi Yi support. And there's Sa Hu Wan with the awesome Zhu Shu in support of him. So, battle conditions, pretty simple stuff, just gotta defeat Sima Yi, and don't die ourselves. Three gates each, shouldn't be a problem. Interesting, again, I'm finding it very interesting, this is Cow Cow's forces, yet he's not here at all, I wonder if he's gonna show up at some point, who knows. So, weapon-wise, we're gonna stick with the awesome Master Sword. Now, we'll get on to items in a moment. Put you just the bodyguards first. Unfortunately, last time the bodyguards did not get the second tier pike. Hopefully, this time they will. And again, close to 90,000 for elite status. Hopefully, we're going to hit that by the end of this playthrough. We'll have to see. Nothing else to change otherwise. Now, item wise, I have mentioned before I went to do the challenge where I close my eyes and pick all the items. But the only problem I have with actually, I was going to actually show up my webcam for this point, but the weird stupid thing is that for some reason, my webcam and this KM player, which is what I use to record PS2 capturing footage, it seems that when it, you cannot have both KM player and the webcam up at the same time for some weird reason. No idea why, but I tried to put an exploit and my webcam does not work. So unfortunately I can't show you my webcam when I'm picking these items blind, but take my word for it, I am going to be picking the following five items completely blind. My eyes are shut, I cannot see where I am, so I'm just going to be picking five items at random. So here we go. I'm going to move my uh, thing around a bit just to disorient my position. And let's see. So I'm going to pick the second item, oh, oh, shit, I don't know where I am. Ah, sorry, we're going to start over again. Sorry, I, I didn't want to get disoriented picking the item, sorry about that, alright, let's try again. Alright. Oh, hitting that swap there, hence the sound. I don't have to press X after I pick each one so I don't get disoriented. Alright, here we go, second item, Sty still shut. Nope. Nope. Okay. Third item. No. Okay. Fourth item. And fifth item. What do we get? Alright, so let's see what we've picked. We've picked Defense, 
Wind scroll for each. Bodyguard manual. Horned helm. And the mountain quiver. Which gives us seven plus arrows, which is pretty useless. As is that, to be fair. So, not the worst trade off in the world, but. <laughs> didn't get any bizarre items anyway. So, there we go. There's my blind pick. My eyes were shut the whole time. And so, let us see how we do without our preferred item set. <laughs> Ooh, we're fighting at night this time. Okay. Cow Cow, when did your forces become so strong? Even the graceful swan on the pond paddles furiously underneath the water. Cow Cow is surely the same. Hmm. You're right. I look forward to meeting him. You've already met him, though. That one do, remember? Oh boy, Shang He's unit has been isolated at the summits. Open a path to Zhang He's unit. We must join them. We will crush the enemy by taking out their supplies in the southwest. Fair enough. Wow, this gives my weapon a ton of reach. The wind's no HP item is going to be particularly the most notable absence from this composition. I eat guys like you for breakfast. Yay, the awesome Zeus Shu, my favorite Dynasty Warriors character. Now the wind scrolls reach is actually a really good item. It doesn't drop too often either. It's like one of the rare item upgrades to get, but it's so useful because it just gives you that massive range bonus. You know, and more range the better, especially when you already have a ridiculous amount of range to be Oh my god. There are so many archers here. This could be this could be bad. We may have to kill Zushu off as quickly as we can. Oh. Counter Mizu! Oh, I actually won that deadlock. Yes. Good. My bodyguards will be tanking most of the arrows, I bet. Alright, Suzu out the way. And I have to go on to the doorbell. Be right back. And I hate being interrupted. Sorry about that. Let's get back to business, shall we? And the postman was at the door. Doing some presents. Not for me, sadly. <laughs> I ordered, the last thing I ordered in the mail was Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, Dark Alliance 2, that is. So... Yeah, as I was saying about the Wind Witch, it's incredibly useful, but one of the rarest drops in the game, sort of. Well, it doesn't appear that often, but it can be ridiculous. I mean, can you imagine someone like Guan Yu or Wu Bu having the Wind Scroll equipped? Having an already uh, large weapon anyway? Hopefully that weapon drop is finally the uh, second, if not third tier weapon that my bodyguards deserve, quite frankly. I've got some more archers and ah, I just need an owl then. I will strike you down. Oh, your archers are doing a good enough job of that, you jerk. Um, I'll use an owl to heck. Let's see how much damage it does. Whoa! Here we got hit by a uh, Zahu One's Muzu there. That could have been bad. This horse Muzu can do a fair amount of damage sometimes. And it's arguably more powerful than a. Uh, Regular moves for some characters, I believe. Oh, I'm not entirely sure about that. Alright, time for another Muzu deadlock, maybe? Maybe not. Just gonna slightly charge up my Muzu there. And another item I'm gonna miss is the fast Muzu charge. I want to use an arrow. Oh. Let's use an arrow on the Archer Man. Gonna go for a shorter combo here for some reason. Don't want him to bust out his true moves or any time. Oh god, that was nice. That was a well good job, friendly archer. Nice we timed. Got a little carried away. Next time bring more archers with you. <laughs> Alright, so now we also get his horse, which is great. Now we will meet up with Shang He and perform the downward ambush attack on the southwest very much like what you do in okay the way ambush parties appear in the east oh jeez two ambush parties this could get interesting now 
Ah, oh, I didn't have enough muzzy for the counter. Oh, God, has anyone new shown up with that? Yeah, that sure do is. Um, oh, God, Zhang Liao's entered. I got to say, this map was a, to a pretty simple conclusion, but looks like we have got some many men, so I'm not surprised they're bringing some to this fight. We're out Zhang Liao now. Okay, good. Let's just make sure there's no more archers left, preferably. And go meet up with Zhang Liao. At least now we have this horse, so we can travel around. I don't really know we need immediate assistance on the other side, though. And look, Wan Shao does have archers. Since I'm the commander, I'm the only one that needs to care about losing. You should not be so eager to die. But I didn't have another officer on the other side, though. Anyway. Knocked one Zhang Liao off his horse. Trying to sweep. Alright, probably gonna get an Amuzu out of this. Yep. Don't want to get path with. Oh god, I lost the deadlock. Luckily, he. I don't know why I'm reading all these deadlocks. Maybe they improve the uh, <coughs> strength of the characters with those? I don't know. All I know is I never used to lose deadlocks until I started playing Extreme Legends. Might take the health here, maybe, maybe go for the kill. Nah, it's good having bodyguards that can just do everything for you. Get out of here, Zangli Owl. You ain't no match for me. Oh, take attack. Thanks. Even the great Zhang Liao must lose sometime. And if you go up against me, you'll lose a lot more than just once. So Zhang Liao's out the picture. Hmm, I'm going to see if we can get a little health power up here off the uh, guard captain that I was beating on earlier. Alright, good. We've met up with Zhang Yi. Ish. What was I thinking? To walk blindly into the land of death. Our shame shall be cleansed through the power of beauty. Oh, but can't you get that there? <laughs> okay, Go out there, Zhang Yi. You weren't that isolated. Considering. Could have just come down the mountain. But whatever. This is usually where the big event of the map happens. Whether it's here or whether it's Masu for Shu gets isolated. You know, usually the big deal about Jating is that Masu, Zuge Leong's beloved pupil, gets. Uh, Isolated up here, so you just had no time to save him. Got Don Wee, the uh, rear flank guard. Yes, bodyguards, charging like crazy. I am Yan Wei. Fight me. Hmm. Don Wee. You know, now that I think about it, I don't think we've really fought Don Wee all that much, or seen much of him at all in this story. I mean, he has one map that's pretty much all about him, but I don't think we've seen much of Don Wee otherwise. He's just kind of been there in the background, and you just... This might be my first time fighting Don Wee, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Maybe those with a better history of my playthroughs will know, but... I don't recall fighting Don Wee an awful lot, anyway. Oh well, didn't prove that much of a challenge. Or his archers might. You'll regret this. Retreat! I think I will, somehow. I don't think I'll regret that at all. Wow. Ah! Bloody archers. Again. This completely annihilates Zhang Dang Don Wei. Get murdered by his archer packs. Pack. Alright. So, kind of plowing along now. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be careful with that friendly knockbacks. Hope one of these guys just drop a oh, nope health recovery items for me. No mercy for this archer either. Alright, so I think Zahoon Dune is just a little further ahead, but how much time do we have? Oh, 22. Okay, we've got plenty of time. We've dealt with the ambushes. We're not kind of ramboing it now though. Maybe we'll just hold back a little bit. I mean, we're on, it. We're on the sixth map. I don't fancy getting into a, a massive clusterfuck. 
But that's just since I suspect that uh, Wei will have quite a few archer towers and I have no bow defense. There's another fact that I'm going to have to take in mind with my blind item choice. I have no massive amounts of health, no hate, no uh, attack bonus, no fast muzu, and no bow defense. Considering archers are one of the major pests in this game, having no extra bow defense could be costly if I run into the wrong pack. Magnifying not the highest health pool. Probably because I've not really... Unlike the regular game, I don't actually know where the HP items are in some of these maps. Someone used to guide me on that. Someone used to say, like, there's an HP item here. And then they stopped giving suggestions. Maybe they thought I was having too easy a ride, and I don't blame for that, to be fair. Townsend's troops. Oh, I forgot about that generic officer. I could have completely forgot about him, even though I saw him earlier. I just went, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Ooh, is it for 10 seconds? Are we getting a good opportunity to smack up Zin P here with it? Yes, we are. Beautiful. Oh my god, can I get both of them? Come on, keep comboing. Let's see how long we can make this combo last. 23 hits with Muzu. That is so good. I'm probably going to get that might integrate that item drop significantly. Ah, Zima Shao, the failed... Um, Commander, which is why they put Simi Yi in charge, according to the introduction on this map in the original game, if I remember correctly. The Michelle failed to defend well, and then they stuck Simi Yi in charge instead. Of course, that would probably be inaccurate to the lore of the game, as I'm quickly discovering each time this game's lore is a little bit different from the actual Realm of the Three Kingdoms fiction uh, history, or whatever you want to call it. Like, for example, Shu aren't exactly the most uh, honourable types as the game would have you perceive them to be. They did some battered things too. Okay, everyone else. And speaking of that, uh, I was given a suggestion by Buddy Ace in the last video, saying that apparently you can do the double Muzu attack with, um... Both... Uh, sorry. Where's the item they dropped there? No. Not sure why I'm hearing items drop unless it's over there or something. Alright, well we'll just bank around this area for the moment. I'm gonna take out the gate gap. Let's go back to my arm. Sod it. Looks like we got a generic as well. Step up Sun Lee. Oh wow. Zhu Wang was over there? Must have been a sub officer. Oh well. Zhu Wang is eliminated. Good. It's him. I'm missing, out on t missing out on two kills here, when I could have taken myself, to be honest. Well, yeah, he suggested apparently you could do a double Muzu attack with your bodyguards. Which, he basically said you have to be in one player mode and the bar will flash green when you can do the uh, super double Muzu attack. Uh, this, I believe this is, this is actually true, Buddy Ace, but I believe it's only with warrior bodyguards, which are basically where you can take a playable officer and make them into your bodyguard. The only kicker is that they become your only bodyguard but they have all their abilities and stuff. I don't think this works with um, regular bodyguards. I've never seen the green Muzu bar light up so oh my god uh, bodyguards you have to tank a lot of this oh my god that is a ferocious crossbow bat. Look at that that is bad. That is so bad. We need to wipe out as many as possible here. This could be... Possibly could have been game ending if I'd got me caught in the wrong position there. Ooh. Oh good, he's reached a supply depot. Thankfully. Should get a cutscene now. Yes, the enemy is weakened. Break through them now. Should get a cutscene. Aren't we too far ahead? No, we are not. We're better we fine. So, I don't think, I've never seen it. Basically, whenever that happens, the Muzu bar changes to green. But it only happens with Warrior Bodyguards, I believe. I don't know if you can do it with regulars. Unfortunately, it would have been nice, but then you'd have eight Bodyguards with full Muzu attack. Might be a little ridiculous, especially when they're already super powerful as they are. Alright, so, now let's take care of this gate captain. Start to just let the air do some of the grunt work for us. I might show it off sometime, however. Um, 
buddy ace although you, i don't think you can do it in campaign mode i think you have to do it in the free mode only i believe bam hmm. i'm trying to get the eight hit combo on this guy so i can get the bonus i wonder if i can get more actually if i keep doing this will i be able to get more like there's the 16. no i don't i'm guessing that only goes as high as the plus two well, at least I'll have the plus two bonus. I can get the final scrap. Because I've been told where that map is, thanks to Harrison Smith, who pretty much told me to um, not only suggested doing the close eye blind challenge on this map, but also told me the final map's going to be the Wuzang Plains. And well, I would say that's a very fitting finale map for one shell. I do great, very nice. So it'll be interesting to see how that. That means we could be in for quite a long hurl there. Oh, I was hoping to catch him, but well, I'll take the push one. I think we're doing pretty well in defense anyway. So it's not a problem, really. Minor stat bonuses. I thought it'll help, granted, but. It takes a while to notice something. Anyway, here is Zahundun's troops animated by. What my generics? More than child's play. I've gotten so many kills on this map. Zahu, Doon, Zhu, Wong, Kao Zen when I had him at my grasp. Wow. I'm just doing poorly. I'm getting kills on this map. And still, still we win. Because J-Ting is not exactly one of the best. Well, it's an okay map, but it's not really much to it. To be honest, in terms of the game, it's just kind of there. When she was going to recover here. Familiar cutscene. I think it's a little quicker than in the original game, to be honest, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's basically the same cutscene as what happens when Wei. Yes, the enemy is weakened. Break through them now. When uh, Wei break through Shu, they just cut through like that and destroy them. That's a really stupid thing to do. What? The enemy near headquarters. <laughs> okay, we get some, we get a random sprinkling of lines from Simi Yi, basically taking his lines from another incident. I think that's actually from a uh, Heifei Castle. They stole that line. Oh, we need to be careful here because Simi Yi's music can be quite powerful. Retreating is part of my plan. He says as I kill him, like the instant I worry about that. And that's it! Battle with J-Team, done! Cow Cow wasn't even anywhere close to that fight. His brothers might have shown up, but he did not. Oh well, hopefully he'll show up for the finale. So, pretty basic battle, we took out Zhang Wan. Zhang Liao and Zhu Huang showed up on the flanks. Ran over Zhang Liao, hooked up with Shang Yi, started to push down. Hill decided to go wandering around instead of taking Zhang Hun Dun out at some point, but I wanted to eliminate the gate captain first. I like doing this map is just to eliminate the gate captains when the enemies start pulling in. I actually managed to take out the gate captain, then Giel Wan took out Zhang Hun Dun, and Simi Yi fell pretty quickly. Huh, in 15 minutes, all done. Sorted. Wow, that's a good sword. HP max sword. Well, I actually kind of like that one. Defense on a sword, that's pretty interesting for me. So, item wise, nothing special. Bodyguard item wise, nothing special. Ah! Still no pipe for the bodyguards. I don't believe this. Ridiculous. I better get it in the last map or something. It's better. Alright, so let's see if we get any more points for the bodyguards today. I think they got any last time, so they are due a point maybe. Might not get it now though. I'm sticking to go to 85. Nope. But at least one shower ranks up to class 3. Probably no further than that. Didn't really matter at this point. Once you get to the white horse class, nothing else really matters so much. Ah, such a low life in Nuzuko. <laughs> when he goes actually more life than he does. Ooh, top the uh, points ranking, even above my Wu Bei play through. Ooh, 
Up the KO ranking. I'm gonna go for a three for three. Why are we not? Nah, time was bad. We may clobber this map easily. <laughs> we had an easier time, somewhat. Alright, so that takes care of J-Ting. Let's... Well, we know what's up for next time. The finale. Wuzang Plains. The grand finale against Cow Cow's forces. Alright, so... Cow Cow's forces. The next time at the Battle of the Wuzang Plains. So that was that. Part six done. Jating is conquered. What did you think of the blind item challenge? Sorry, I couldn't show you the webcam for that, but I can assure you I picked all those blind. <laughs> a bit clunky, but did it nevertheless. What do you think, man? Do you like the idea of that challenge? Do you want to do it again in the future, maybe? Any more challenges you can think of? Please keep bringing them in. I love the idea of the challenges. As I've said before. And what do you think is going to happen next time at the Battle of the Wuzang Plains? Harrison Smith has given some suggestion for that one and they'll try to do that for next time in the form of a challenge but feel free to add any further comments and I'll catch you all next time for the finale of One Shao's campaign. One Shao. Cow Cow. Only one will win. Be there next time.